Hey, I'm Harold Spring. Today we're going to show the number one question, flaking and spalling of concrete over a period of time. What I've uh, set up here now, flaking and spalling, is the finisher has dealt with uh, a number of problems to begin with, either blue finish, stamp, or exposed. These three conditions have got to be uh, considered. The conditions that they have to look at are multitude. You have to look at the ambient temperature of the day, whether you have suns or clouds. You have to also consider from the ready mix plant and the mix design, what the MPA is, what the slump is, what the fly ash is, what additives it. So here we have the finisher being, uh, uh, being exposed to all of these problems before he can even consider doing his finishing. We'll show you uh, an example of a sidewalk that's been finished. Okay, this is the trowel down finish on a normal sidewalk that uh, are, are everywhere. On this, on this part here, the, the, you can see all the troweling down here, and it's, when you go to the outside edge, this edge along here has been uh, over troweled. Maybe it was a little bit hard at the time. They put some water on here and troweled it, and, and uh, that surface is gonna come up after a while. So folks, finishing concrete is an art form. So if any one of these conditions, any one of these conditions is missed or bypassed, what it causes is overwatering and overworking, ending up being flaking and spalling. It's very important that you get a finisher that's knowledgeable and experienced to do your concrete work. I'm Harold Spring. Follow me at my blog at heraldspring.ca. Thank <laughs> you.